Hey guys, Jamie Otis here at the Chef's Connection, and I am with Chef Colt Taylor. We're standing in the kitchen of the James Beard Foundation. What is going on here tonight? Uh, tonight we're doing an event. It's called New York's Melting Pot, and essentially we take different dishes from around the world, classic dishes such as right here, Pad Thai, and we recreate it and we deliver it in a new modern here way. Here I see this is a very, very busy kitchen. You're getting all prepped. What's going on over here with this dish? Uh, this dish, for example, the Pad Thai. This is an iota and kappa carrageen and custard based on the basic flavor profiles of pad thai. Tamarind, roasted garlic, salted peanuts, and fish sauce set in a cube on the bottom with lime pudding, cilantro, chili flake, and it's finished upon a souffléed wild rice chip. So it's all the elements, all the flavors, different textures, different presentation of all the classic pad thais that everybody's eaten. Wow, these are so beautiful. Tell me what is in these little spoons. Uh, what we have here is a Wagyu carpaccio, and essentially, rather than pounding it out thin like the classic, we actually grind it up completely. We add a little bit more Wagyu fat to it to make it taste better, and then we glue it back together with Ajinomoto, also known as meat glue, if you will, which is a modern take on it. We have a mustard powder with maltodextrin, we have dehydrated capers and garlic chips. So it's really all the classic flavors of a beef tartare, but in a new, new, new method, new method. What is the James Beard Foundation? Well, James Beard was the man who brought fine dining to New York City back in the day. This was his house. And he was good friends with Julia Child. He was responsible for bringing fine dining uh, to a new level in New York City because he started the first culinary school in New York City. He used to have dinner parties out of this house. He used to have different students come over. He used to give scholarships. He was just very involved with the community. When he passed away, a bunch of people in this industry got together and bought his property and said, this needs to be preserved. This has such a, a relevant exposure to our industry. So they bought it and they created the James Beard Foundation, which now gives scholarships to students all over the world. Um, and more importantly, what it does is uh, acts as a platform for people to come and cook for other people. And it, it's a long-standing tradition of respect for fine dining and where it's come from and where it's going to. Thanks so much for inviting us back to the kitchen. Oh, Good welcome. luck tonight. Have fun. Thank you very much.